Welcome back guys and gals, Maddie and Wanda back again. Today we are going to go over and do the answers to our Q&A questions. Uh, we had a post up on our community tab to see if anybody wanted to do a bit of a Q&A and we got a bunch of questions so Wanda and I are pretty stoked to go through and answer all your guys questions. But before we dive into the questions, at the end of this video, because we are getting extremely close to 5,000 subscribers on the channel, Wanda and I wanted to do a little bit of a giveaway. So at the end of this video, stick around because you guys are gonna figure out how to enter yourself in the giveaway to win your very own NU25 headlamp from Nightcore. So stick around till the end of the video and we will announce how the giveaway is gonna work at the end of this video. First question we've got is from Hiking with Gus. Uh, if nothing sticks to a non-stick coating in a pan, how do you get the non-stick coating to stick to the pan? See, if you come down to the States when the border is open back up, we can ponder these things over beers in the backcountry, and after the beer, we can wonder why a 12 ounce can of beer will make you gain three pounds. I honestly have no clue. Um, I, I'm not sure how they get the non-stick coating to work on a non-stick pan, but uh, if you find out the answer to that one, please let me know. Um, as for uh, hopping the border and doing some traveling, um, it is something I would love to do uh, in the future, uh, just with, with life going the way it is for me right now with the, the baby coming. Um, I'm not sure any international destination trips are gonna be on the menu for me in the next little bit, but uh, we will see. All right, next question from the Nippin fan, the Nippin fan, sorry if I'm mispronouncing your usernames here. Uh, what clothes to wear on the lower body for winter backpacking? both dry, a little snow, and for deep snow, uh, specifically pants or pants systems. For myself, when it comes to winter backpacking, I always wear uh, a base layer bottom, uh, usually a pair of sacks tights on the underneath my pants, and then on tops, I wear a Heli Hansen shell pant. Uh, that's just what I go with. That's what I go with all the time. Um, when I'm out hiking, I find even in like minus 20 or minus 30, with just that system, and I'm moving and active, I'm able to stay warm. Once I've got to camp and I've kind of got camp established and I'm not moving around as much, I will throw on another pair of base layer pants and some fleece pants to supplement and just add a little bit more heat. But uh, that's the pants system I go with. Uh, next one from Wanda Berry. Uh, I, know post I know posting videos is vital to a YouTube channel, but have you ever wanted to go on a trip and leave the camera gear at home just for some Maddie time and enjoying the moment for yourself? Um, this is actually something I do quite a bit. I uh, I think I had four or five solo backpacking trips I did this past summer that I didn't film at all. Um, I take a couple of pictures just kind of for myself at home, but I did absolutely no filming. Um, I find on my solo trips, that's just what I kind of tend to do. That's kind of my Maddie time, I guess. So I, I, I do backpacking trips that I don't film. I was, uh, I was a backpacker long before I was a aspiring YouTuber and uh, I'll be a backpacker long after I end YouTube if I ever quit doing this stuff. So uh, next question from Ken Silapika, or I, I'm sorry if I'm butchering your name. I'm really bad with pronunciations, obviously you guys. But uh, Ken's question, if you had a hundred bucks to spend on something right now, what would it be? A new kitchen setup, discounted puffy or something else? If I had money that I was gonna spend on some gear for right now, I would probably look at getting myself a winter rated top quilt. So I'd probably use that hundred bucks and just put it towards buying a winter top quilt at some point in time. That's kind of the one piece of gear that I'm wishing I had right now. Like I've got a couple 20 degree top quilts and some supplemental lighter quilts that I can add to it. But uh, to just kind of have one all encompassing like zero degree or even like a minus 10 or minus 15 degree top quilt, that would kind of be something I'd like to get at some point. From Nero Shepherd. Uh, hi Maddie, we, re we recently started backpacking and wondered how do you navigate while on the trail? Do you use maps? Which one specifically for Jasper Banff and the David Thompson? Do I use a GPS? Uh, which GPS map sets do I use? Do I use a phone app? Uh, what mapping app for navigation in the mountain parks? Do I follow GPS tracks from other, hi from other hikers and so? Yeah, I don't follow other people's GPS tracks. Um, I just, I prefer kind of finding my own way. Um, as for maps that I use, uh, my maps are actually all over on the walls back here. I use uh, Gemtrek maps. I use some of the National Geographic maps for the Canadian National Parks are pretty good. Um, I use CalTopo a lot. If you guys are not familiar with CalTopo, just go to caltopo.com. Uh, fantastic mapping service on CalTopo. I plan most of my routes and trips out on CalTopo, and then I will take the GPX file I create on CalTopo, and I will put that into my phone. And on my phone, I use Gaia GPS. Uh, just I find Gaia is probably the best GPS software for a cell phone. 
uh, yeah, that's that's what I use for for plotting out my routes and stuff. Um, on trail, I do carry a map and compass. Um, I try not to rely on my GPS. I'll kind of use my GPS from time to time just to kind of verify with off my map and compass where I'm at. But uh, yeah, I use I use a map and compass quite a bit when I'm out on trail. Well, the next two questions are from Bo Bellamy. Uh, if you could hike with any YouTuber, who would it be and what trail would you take them on to awe them? Uh, if I was going to hike with any other YouTubers that I haven't hiked with yet, there's uh, two guys specifically that come to mind that I would really like to hike with. Um, first one being Rob Pelton from uh, Rob Pelton channel, R Pelton one. I think he actually changed his YouTube channel name, but uh, yeah, I'd, I'd love to hike with Rob. I know he and I have talked quite a bit about hiking together. I just think he'd be a blast. He's a fellow hammock camper, so I would enjoy that. Want to come. Get over here. Get over here. Get back in the shot. Sit down. And the second guy that I'd really like to hike with is uh, John Kelly. I've uh, I've been fortunate enough to get to know John Kelly quite a bit over the last year or so, just from chatting and you know we collaborated on a video in the past. He's just an all-around amazing guy. Um, I, I would love to to meet John and get to hike with him. I think it'd be an absolute blast out on trail. The next question from Bo Bellamy: uh, What's one piece of gear you haven't changed in a while? The worst piece of gear I wish I never bought, and a piece of gear I wish I had. Uh, some gear I haven't really changed in a bit is probably just everything that goes in my toiletries kit. Um, I actually have it sitting right here in front of me. This is my toiletries kit. I've just got one of those little tubes, toothbrushes that has a little toothpaste tube in it, some hand sanitizer, some lip balm, uh, my little deodorant stick made out of a chapstick tube, and a little, uh, little brush for my hair. Um, that's pretty much been the same for probably the last, I don't know, six, seven years. I haven't changed that in a while. Uh, the worst piece of gear I wish I never bought. Uh, oh, I, I have bought some absolute pieces of crap over the last couple years. Um, probably one that sticks out to mind is just knives that I've bought over the years. Um, I, for the longest time, I had it in my head, like I'm sure a lot of backpackers do, um, experienced backpackers or new backpackers. I had it in my head for probably about 15 years that you needed to carry a long fixed blade knife to go on a backpacking trip. And uh, I just, over the last couple of years, I've realized that I've never really been in a situation where I've ever even seen anyone need a fixed blade knife. And I just have been carrying a small folding knife. Saved me a bunch of money, saved me a bunch of weight, saved me a bunch of bulk in my pack. Uh, yeah, probably a fixed blade knife. <laughs> I know it's gonna irritate the bushcrafters out there, but I, I'm a backpacker, guys and gals. I'm not a bushcrafter. I'm not out there building shelters. I have no desire to go out there and play Bobby Bushcraft out in the woods. I'm out there to hike and backpack. Um, a piece of gear I wish I had, I kind of touched on this one a little bit earlier. I wish I had a fully winter rated top quilt. That's kind of probably my next gear purchase I would like to get. From Catherine Volpe, how much time goes into trip prep? What are my main research method for trip planning? Uh, for me, trip prep, a lot of it depends on where I'm going. If it's an area that I know fairly well or I'm kind of making a return to, which is kind of a lot of the trips I've been doing over the last couple of years. Um, a lot of my friends are getting into backpacking or newer backpackers. So I've been kind of re-exploring areas that I've already previously ventured into. So the trip planning for those is not really as intensive. I, I mean, a lot of these trails I, I've been on numerous times, so I could probably get there with my eyes closed, so to speak. But uh, if it's an area that I've never hiked in, uh, my trip planning just kind of depends. I try to rely on guidebooks and maps and Google Earth, uh, CalTOPL, like I previously mentioned, and I just kind of go from there. So this question is for you. This is from No Bison. This is Wanda. What is your favorite wild dung to sniff? Do you have a favorite? Do you have a favorite poop to smell? Well, uh, this past summer, uh, we discovered that uh, Wanda is uh, one of those dogs that if she finds feces out in trail, she will roll in it. Um, yeah, we, uh, we came across quite a few campsites littered with uh, human excrement. And uh, Wanda and I got very good at taking baths in alpine lakes. So uh, yeah, Wanda's a poop roller. Um, so I don't know if that, I'm assuming that's her favorite kind of sniff is human. It's disgusting, but uh, yeah. If you guys are out there in the woods and you guys need to go to the washroom and do your business, get yourself a freaking deuce of spades trowel, dig a cat hole, bury your poop. I'm getting absolutely tired of seeing poop on top of the ground 
and toilet paper everywhere. It's absolutely disgusting. Uh, we all got to do our part. I'm not saying that you guys and gals are the ones doing it, but uh, if you catch people doing it, educate them. We need this kind of stuff to stop. It's disgusting out there. This one from a walk in the Rockies. Any plans for a backpacking trip in another country? I uh, kind of touched on this one a little bit at the start. Uh, I've got a couple places I'd like to go, most of them down in the States, uh, mostly to you know meet and hike with some of the other YouTubers and people that I've got to know doing the social media stuff. But uh, I, I don't really have any plans set in stone. Um, I would like to get down to Colorado at some point. I think that would be pretty sweet. There's some pretty wicked trails down there. Uh, a lot of people tell me I need to get out to the White Mountains at some point, so maybe, maybe at some point we'll uh, we'll get down there. But no definitive plans at this point. No. Question from Amber Drums: Can I make a video about my backpack before leaving for a weekend? Where do I put the heavy things? That kind of stuff. Um, yeah, we can absolutely do that. That's uh, that's a video that I had planned coming up for the springtime. It's sort of how to load a backpack. So. Stay tuned for that. This question from Chef Evan Outdoors. Miss you, dude. Hope you're enjoying BC. Uh, Wanda looks beautiful at Glacier Lake. Yes, she does. She absolutely loved it there. Uh, what drives for inspiration for planning trips? Uh, how do I pick them? Where do you do your research them? Uh, what do I look for in my research? Uh, things that drive me in trips now, um, a lot of it is like getting inspired by my friends, kind of seeing places that they want to go. Um, like I've kind of touched on a little bit throughout this Q&A. Uh, a lot of the areas that I'm hiking now, I've been to numerous times already. Um, I'm getting a lot of inspiration and it's really cool getting to see my friends go to places that they've never been before. Um, I kind of am finding it tougher to find spots that, that I want to go that have kind of been on my bucket list. I've kind of knocked most of my bucket list places off over the last couple of years. So it's uh, it's pretty inspiring kind of getting to see these trails for the first time again through my friend's eyes and getting to experience that. So that's kind of what's driving my inspiration for my trips right now. Uh, another question from Amber Drums. Uh, recently started backpacking with my dog, but I ran into two things. Uh, which water filter system is good? She says she takes too much water, uh, becomes heavy. And what do I use on new trails to stay on the path, like a hiking, hiking GPS? Uh, for a water filter, I have it right here actually. I highly recommend the Katadyne Bee Free. Uh, I have used a bunch of water filters over the years and so far I say this is the absolute best water filter you can get out there right now. Uh, the flow rate on this thing is awesome. Like I can filter up a liter of water in about 30 seconds with this thing. Uh, it's awesome. It also will double as a water carrying device. So if you want to carry an extra liter of water, you can load it up in that. They come with a smaller one and I think they make a three liter one as well. That's got a gravity setup if you're doing big group trips. But uh, yeah, the Katadyne Bee Free is my suggestion for a water filter. And uh, for staying on trail, um, a lot of the trails up here that we're hiking in the Rockies are pretty well defined. But uh, for times when I do any kind of off trail stuff, I do use a GPS on my phone. As I mentioned before, I use Gaia GPS. Um, I will load coordinates from Cal Topo onto my guy GPS and that's what I use. Uh, next question from Alphonse G. Uh, what's your main source for new gear? What YouTube channels would you like to collab with if you haven't? And my favorite strain to bowl after a long day on trail. Uh, for new gear, a lot of it depends on what I'm picking up. Uh, a lot of my gear now is coming from cottage vendors down in the States, uh, being with hammock stuff. Um, I'm a big fan of UGQ. I love their stuff. I like Dutchware gear, hammock gear. Um, I also actually do pick up a lot of my gear secondhand. I check a lot of uh, the online marketplace sites. As for my favorite strain to pack after a long day hiking, uh, I'm a big fan of Sour Diesel. You can't go wrong with Sour Diesel. Last question here from Yoon Swanson. The quietest and most comfortable sleep system I've tried. i uh, been waking up rolling around on the crispy pad and slipping off of it too. Well, my friend, it sounds like you need to get yourself a hammock. Uh, I, I, yeah, I'm a huge hammock fan. I, I can't say enough about the comfort and just overall better sleep quality with a the hammock. Um, they are significantly quieter as well. So uh, yeah, I would definitely suggest a hammock. If you're struggling with sleeping pads being too loud, get yourself a hammock. Well, guys and gals, that is all the questions that we had from our Q&A. So thank you guys and gals who fired questions our way. We had a ton of fun, obviously, but uh, the real reason you guys have stuck around and watched this entire video is for the Nightcore NU25 giveaway. 
Now, it's not going to be this Nikkor ND25. This is mine that I've been using, but uh, we will get a Nikkor ND25 sent off to you. So if you want to enter the giveaway, just drop us a comment down below. Let me know if you sleep in a tent or if you sleep in a hammock. That's all you gotta do. Just drop a comment down below. Let me know if you sleep in a tent. Let me know if you sleep in a hammock. And yeah, so as always guys, I'm Maddie. This is Wanda. Thank you guys so dang much for watching our Q&A. We will see you guys on the next one.